Guys, we're back at the headquarters. Almost forgot, we got a good look inside the frame. And here's my new toy. Okay guys, so this is it. My new toy. Test long. Take a guess where that came from. So we are inside the frame right now. This is, that's the bottom. You can see part of the exhaust right there. I ho hopefully you can see all this got a spider web and we do have some rust this is this would be the side let's see if we can see the top and there was the top for a minute it's kind of difficult to turn this twist it but there's the bottom the rusted well when I say rusted you know surface rust There it is, a nice close-up. And this is towards the front of the vehicle. Check this out, what I can do with this. It's got camera in the front and a camera on the, on the side. And you can switch between cameras. See, now I can look at the cylinder walls, for example, with the side camera. How was this area here of the frame? Let's go look. Maybe in the back somewhere. Right behind the the rear wheel. Let's see. So this is the bottom. Excuse me. This is the bottom here. It actually looks better in the back than in the front. You can see dots tiny dots of rust and usually the rust starts at the welds but this is nothing so yeah <sighs> where did I get this well I sometimes need it not often sometimes and we're gonna use the same tool to look at the inside the cylinders because I'm gonna be changing spark plugs. Well, first I'm gonna be taking a look at the spark plugs and then quite possibly change them. Still gotta look at the timing belt. So now I'm gonna do touch up the four spots that the lift was that the car the frame was on the lift. Still waiting on the thing to dry, the black paint to dry. I still have to paint the inside of the fuel tank cover still gotta paint the hitch but not gonna paint the whole thing just here because remember this this part is well actually you know what whatever I am gonna paint the whole thing and then I'm gonna just maybe clear coat this area here that's exposed to the Sun so this doesn't turn into that matte color or from the Sun you know what I mean I'm gonna straighten this out so this got hit. Actually a little plot twist. Did not see this damage here. Look, this is dented. In, so it got hit right in here. All right guys, still a lot to do. Once this is all the, the, the chassis saver paint is all fully cured. I'm gonna give it another 24 hours. It's, gonna, it's been 24 hours already. So I'm gonna give it another 24 hours. And then I'm gonna drive back to that shop and spray the wax by Emsleil everywhere. Still gotta figure out the one thing so I can actually spray the inside. All right, catch you later. Waiting on the paint to dry, but I was curious about the timing belt. And I had to take a look. And I guess, well, it's bad news for me, good news for you. We're gonna be doing the timing belt. Hopefully you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Let's fix the light here. I mean, I doubt that you're gonna see ex exactly what I mean, but so I pulled this cover off, right? Driver's side, four or four bolts, one nut. The nut is in the kind of in the middle of the cover, and then just four bolts around the cover. And then you you can pull it back a little bit, and we can take a close look at it, and you can see. As you're looking at it on the right edge, 
it's starting to crack a little bit. Now you're probably not seeing this. I mean, this is not bad. This would last a little bit longer. I mean, I've seen much, much worse. This belt probably has another 20,000, 30,000 uh, miles to go. But it's not, you know, it should be done. So I guess, I'm guessing it should be the original one. Just looking from the the tiny, tiny cracks right on the edges on both sides. But this is enough for me to tell me that it's time to change the timing belt, water pump, you know, the tensioner, either pulley, maybe cam seals, maybe, we'll see. Alright, that's it.